in this video I am going to show you the solution of this exercise so question 1 and 2 we have to download the necessary files from the blackboard and we have to start the skeleton file which I already started so this is the skeleton file now we have to set up the document page as mentioned below so we'll select the paper size A4 page orientation portrait margin top 1 inch left 1 inch right 1.5 inch and bottom 1.5 inch so let us go to the layout and we'll open the layout uh, the page setup dialog box and here top 1 left 1 or bottom will be 1.5 inch right side 1.5 inch paper will select A4 and here we'll make sure this is portrait so the paper has been changed now we are going to insert the page number at the top of page uh, in a format page X of Y bold number 2 and we will put outside border also that that is called box border around the page number from border button in the paragraph group in home tab so let us go to insert and we'll go to the page number then top of page and if you scroll down slowly you will see page x of y and we'll select bold number two now to make the border we'll go to the home tab and in the paragraph group there is a border option so we'll select here outside border now we'll select the paragraph that begins with climate is an important factor and make it two columns paragraph so this is the paragraph the second paragraph here so to go to the uh, uh, to make the columns you have to go to the layout and columns and we'll select two columns similarly in question number six we'll do uh, two column also for this paragraph so select the paragraph will be fine in the rear spaces of and make it two column paragraph so this is the paragraph we are talking about again we'll go to the layout and columns and we'll make two columns question number seven we'll put the cursor to the start of the paragraph that begins with climate is an important factor and press enter key to insert an empty line and then insert the picture image 01 into the empty line so here we'll click at the start of this paragraph climate is an important factor and we'll press enter key that will make an empty line here and we we'll insert the picture here so let us go to insert pictures this device and we'll select image 01 so the picture is inserted here now we are going to put a bar, uh, break between these paragraphs so question number eight is about that put the cursor to the start of the paragraph that begins with climate is an important factor and insert a column break so we'll click at the beginning of the paragraph and then we'll go to the layout breaks and we'll put a column break column break basically separates the text of the columns uh, okay now question number nine create the following paragraph style so we are going to make some paragraph style the first style we'll make that is called my title and formatting uh, based on heading one font will be tahoma size will be 14 bold color black text effect will select small caps alignment align left border will select bottom border so let us go to the home tab uh, you can see that style group will open the style group here uh, there are some style already given we are going to make a new style which is called my title so we'll click on this icon here which is called new style now we'll add the name which is my title then we are going to choose here ba based on heading one then the font will select the homa 
14 bold to select the color black which is automatic color alignment left now the border will select which is the bottom border and then we are going to choose the small caps from the font so format font and we'll make small caps from here so you can see my title is created so we'll make another style now the second one is called my subtitle which is uh, based on no style Arial 12 bold italic alignment left and color will be red so let us do it so again we'll add a new style from here we'll write down the name my sub title based on no style font name Arial size 12 bold select italic alignment left and the color we will select from here red color this one so this is done we will make another color now so that that will be uh, my body text so let us do that uh, so we'll go to the new style again write down the name my sorry for that we'll open it will modify so my body text based on normal times new roman so write down the font name size 12 we'll select justified this is justified also we can do the paragraph settings like indentation and spacing from the format and paragraph and here we'll select a justified sometime you know you don't have this option here so you can select from here always and then left indentation 0 0.5 so we'll choose 0 0.5 here and the line spacing single so click OK and OK so you can see now three of the style created so now we'll apply it Question number 10 is applying the styles that we created. So we'll apply the paragraph style my title to these three paragraphs. So most peculiar the first line. So this will be my title. Then deserts in the Middle East, which is here, will make my title. And the last line table of content, it will be my title. So these are the three lines then we'll apply my subtitle to five paragraph so this one this one this one silver torch and deserts in Saudi Arabia so these are the five paragraph we'll apply my subtitle you can apply one by one or you can select all of them and you can apply heading two we are going to apply into three paragraph so so let us select rabal khali and nafud and adhana so these are the three paragraph we'll select the heading two now all the other remaining paragraph we have to select my body text so let us go on top so let us make my body text my body text you can do one by one or you can select multiple and do together so these are the three paragraph also so now our document looks like this one after applying all the style question number 11 we are going to make a new uh, list style okay so we'll go to the paragraph and we'll select multi-level list and from there we'll select define new list style and from formatting we'll select number numbering and then we have to modify the numbering level okay and we have to link with our own style so you can see here it is written we have to link each of the level to the paragraph style 
as follows like link level 1 to the style my title link level 2 to the paragraph style my subtitle and link level 3 to the paragraph style my uh, uh, the style heading 2 and also we have to choose the numbering uh, as for example if we go to the output we can see the numbering from there so let us see so you can see here from top if you see, like the my title it is one two three so the my titles the style is one two three and the subtitles are like one dot a this one is coming from the title the from the level one that is one but and for this level the style is a b c d so the second level subtitle my subtitle is a b c d and the third level is heading 2 which is small a b c because you see this 2 is coming from the title and a is capital a is coming from the subtitle so this a b c is basically the style for this level which is written here in this question also so my title 1 to 3 my subtitle a b c capital and heading to the small abc so let us do that to apply it we'll go to the home tab and in the paragraph group this option this is called multi-level list so we'll go to the define new list style then we'll go to the format and numbering and we'll click on more to link the style okay link the level to our style so we'll select number one and here we are going to select my title that is our level one and we'll delete everything from here the old number style and we'll select the number style is as like the output so we know that level one is my title and the numbering is one two three now let us select number two uh, level number two and here we link with my subtitle and then here the numbering style now is a bracket which is not uh, our one we want to make a dot one a dot a one dot a so for that we have to include at first so we'll include level one then we'll put the dot because you can see there is a dot between the number so we'll put a dot here and from here we'll select the style for level 2 which is ABC capital similarly for 3 we'll link up with heading 2 we'll delete all these old numbers and here we'll select level 1 then dot then we'll select level 2 then dot and from here we'll select small ABC which is the style for this level so when this is done we click OK and OK so you can see the numbering is 1, 1.a, 1 1.b, 1 1.c, 1 1.d, 2, 2a and we can see all other numbers are correct. Question number 12. We are going to insert a footnote after the word uh, steam in the paragraph that begins with Ulimi pine is a rare species. Ulimi pine is a rare species. There is this paragraph we are talking about. So there is a word here called steam. This is the word. So after the word we are going to add a note and uh, this is called footnote and the note will display this message so I'm going to copy this one to avoid typing so now after this word you have to click and then go to the references and there is an option here called insert footnote once you click on that it will automatically create a note at the bottom of the page and now we are going I'm going to copy paste it because I copied it before so I just paste the note and this is done it's a very simple job so question number 12 is completed now question number 13 we are going to add a two line footer footer is called the bottom of the page so I will add name ID so let me show you the output so we are going to make like this name ID and section number and we will insert a picture so uh, you can either you can double click on the a bottom of the page to open the footnote or you can also do by 
clicking on insert and you can click on the footer blank footer so here we are going to write down the name so you can write down your name so name then you write down your ID number whatever is your ID and then you can add the section okay whatever section you have for example I write 22 here you can write your section number okay and then we'll press the tab key from the keyboard two times so it will take us to the end of the line and here we are going to insert the picture the KFPM logo picture so we'll insert it now this picture becomes very big so according to the question we are going to make it smaller and then we have to choose the text wrapping option square from here so you can click on this button and then we select text wrapping with square so the the footer is done we can double click and come back to the normal document now uh, question number 14 we insert page break according to the requirement so that the heading appears on the same page as output let us see the output so let us go to the first page so you can see all the headings up to 1d is here but uh, heading number two is starting from the second page so we'll be we'll insert a page break before that so we click after this paragraph we go to the breaks layout breaks and we say we click on page break so that will take automatically to the second page and rest of the things are okay now question number 15 we are going to make table of content so we have to position our cursor to the cursor to the right of table of content and then insert an empty line use paragraph style normal so basically you click after the title table of content and press enter that is going to have the same title like the table of content so we'll make it normal style now we are going to insert a table of content with a distinctive format and dotted leader under the heading table of content so let us insert the table of content which is under the references tab so let us go to the references tab and then click on table of content and then custom table of content and here we'll select the format which is called distinctive and it, according to the question it say it dotted leader so we'll select the, the dotted leader from here now we have to change the table of content levels according to our style okay those level we want to put in our table of content so we want to put here basically the titles so the my title my subtitle and the heading two. so you can see the notes also given here so we'll go to the options and change the table of content level so we'll delete the older one whatever it is here we'll select my title as one level one my subtitle as level two and the heading two as level three because these are the three level we have so you click OK and OK again. So the table of content will be inserted. Just after that, you just match the document with the output here. And then you can submit your work to the Blackboard. So thank you, everyone. And don't forget to save the document. So thanks for watching. Take care.